Yeah, what's going on guys, it's Rival Impact here, and welcome to another video. Now, I know I have not recorded or uploaded a video in three weeks, and I will explain to you why right now. It's because the editing software that I use, Sony Vegas, I use the trial for the Vegas Pro uh, 14, 30 day free trial, and I was satisfied once the trial ended. So, I paid for the full trial and or not for the full trial but for the full software and then once i got it i it would not it would it would not let me fully install it like it would make me put in the serial number which i did and it'd say all right the program will reinstall once you start again and then it would like restart then like go halfway for like the installing bar then go through the process again so I couldn't really do anything, but now I've decided to use OBS. And I don't think the quality will be, will be as good. I think there may be a little bit frame rate in the video, but it's the best I can do right now until I get it sorted out. But while I'm here in the lobby, by the way, the rest of the video will be me doing two games in a live com, and I will just show you what I got from Infinite Warfare, or not from Infinite Warfare, but from the editions that I got. I did not get the Legacy Pro Edition, but I got two different editions that I didn't mean to. First one I got from Amazon, which was £40, which I didn't even know I got this edition, but I thought I was just getting the game by itself. But I got these zombie pins, and I don't know if you can see them well there, but anyway, I got those, which is pretty cool, even though not really bothered. That came with the game, and... Then came uh, with this nice looking box that I'll probably just keep for some reason. Keep that. That came with it. And then the Amazon one didn't come Friday and I was really annoyed because I wanted to get right into the game. So I went down to game and I bought it. This is the one that I got. This is like £5 extra so I was like why not? Um, this, you get zombie cards of the zombie characters in the game. You can see the reflection of the game there. There we go. And then you get this card, Infinite Warfare. And then you get some other cards in there as well with codes on the back. I haven't even redeemed the codes yet. Because I've been bothered but they're the additions that I got let me see if I can find the case I can't find the case oh well oh there it is <sighs> and then I gave my other game to my brother Hello. there we go so that is that now I Let's get into a game of TDM. My opinions on Infinite Warfare are very, very low, basically. I don't enjoy playing the game, and I wish I did get the Legacy Pro Edition, because I didn't get the Legacy Pro Edition because I thought I couldn't be bothered spending another 20 quid for just another game. So, uh, for a game that I've already played, really, just with better graphics and stuff. But so, but now because of the state that this game is in, I really wish I did. And midway through game, but it's not that far in, so I'll just play this one, and then another one after this. Oh, and I'll scratch my and I'm dead. Main reason why I hate this game is I think it's this. There's no skill gap, skill gap in this game because I know I'm using that. I'm using the Fallout right now, but. I just feel as if because of how good the variants are, there's just the worst player in the world could pick up an MV4 Fallout and still do good. And I understand that's me, because I'm the worst player in the world, and I've got an MV4 Fallout, I'll still probably do bad. And where is everybody? I can't find them. Oh, there's someone. I'm not... I haven't got much game sound right now, but 
because my mic is charging so I haven't got my headset on but I can hear from it a little bit but I can't sound for anyone but I do see yeah, there is some good uh, some positives in this game and that is 100% hit detection even though with some of the snipers I've been really annoyed with as a part in the past of this game because they'd shoot next to me like next to my leg or something like nowhere near nowhere or not nowhere near but nowhere on me and they'd get the one shot kill and it's so annoying because the first time this happened to me I was in a GB and then this like he just like sniped me and he probably didn't even mean to hit me or probably didn't even think he was going to hit me because he shot next to my leg with the intervention or the TF-143 or whatever it is, I don't know what it's called but the re remake of the intervention and got the one shot kill which is really annoying but anyway another positive sort of about this game is the movement even though it is like jetpacks and stuff like that it's really smooth movement and I feel a lot heavier in this game because I feel as if you don't really need the jetpacks as much as you did in Black Ops 3 to get to the places I feel as if I'm, n I'm not so much in the air and more in the ground to be honest with you than in Black Ops 3 but what doesn't make sense to me is that in Advanced Warfare the the movement is very futuristic like it's just jumping in like 60 feet in the air and um, and it's less in the future than Infinite Warfare and it's got more futuristic like movement that's what doesn't make sense to me and then in this game the movement's less futuristic even though it's further into the future I know it sounds really stupid that's my honest I don't understand It's annoyed me, but I've got ideas uh, from this like retirement, I'll call it, or holiday, better word, I should call it. Um, I've had time to think on new, um, new, uh, what's it called, series from my channel, which I know I definitely will enjoy. I don't know if you guys will enjoy, but I know I will enjoy is the first one is I'm calling it I know it's not a very original name but throwback Thursday and basically what it is is for now for probably first 10 episodes it will only be Xbox, Xbox One games uh, because at the moment I do not have uh, Xbox Live on my PS4 uh, not PS4 uh, what's it called 360 so I cannot play any 360 online games on it and so just be on that and it's basically where you guys suggest me games to play and if I don't have it then I'll go out and buy it if it's a reasonable price I don't want to spend like 40 quid on a game that I'll only be playing like once most probably but then another series idea of uh, Vicstar123 which is very famous YouTuber part of the Sidemen did a series on it. It's a game called Seven Days to Die. I know the basics of the game. It's basically where you have seven days to prepare for um, to like get materials, weapons, and build your own base and stuff like that. And on the seventh day, that's game number one. Uh, there's a massive horde of zombies. It's a zombies-based game. Massive horde of zombies. They're uh, basically just, and then you have to use your supplies and stuff to defend them. And I believe, I don't know if this is true, but I'm hoping you can make one day 24 minutes. So it's like one minute per hour. And I really want to do that, so then I can upload one video a week, 24 minute video, so it's not too short. I'll keep you updated on that. So then I can do one video a week, and it'll keep the videos going and the series going for seven weeks and it should just be a fun series for hopefully you to watch and me to play and then 
I'm getting that for Christmas, so I'll be starting that. And I have a few friends that will be that have it, and then some other friends that said they might get it as well. So, for example, Rival Infinity said he might get it, and then we'll do. I'll be doing the series with him hopefully, and then a couple of my other friends as well. They're also getting it around Christmas time. And then another uh, game that I'm getting for Christmas, my main present for Christmas is um, a gaming monitor. So that's going to be my main present. Then I'm getting some games and stuff. Uh, and obviously I'm getting 7 Days to Die. And I'm also getting Overwatch, which should be a fun game. I played the free weekend last weekend and I loved it. At first I didn't really like it, but then I loved it. I loved it as I played it more and more, and I just found it a really enjoyable and stress-free game. Like, I come on Infinite Warfare and I start raging and getting angry at it, and then when I was playing Overwatch, I didn't really get angry at it because, because it was just a fun relax relaxation game, and I can do, like, just videos. Maybe if I do... Then I'll, what I'll do is I can have that in the background of maybe if I make a story time video or something like that. I won't do a live comp because otherwise it'll distract me. Oh man, I'm pulling down my sleeve quick. It's cold in my room. There we go. But let's get into Frontier. And my favourite map on this game so far is the map we just played which is Retaliation. I just love it so much because of how well balanced it is with the... Um, What's it called with the lanes? Like you've just got one straight down the middle, one down the right, one down the left, oh, one down the left, one down the right, and um, unlike maps like this where you sort of have three lanes, but then you have so many different ways to get into those lanes, which is annoying because you can watch, say, like down here, but then someone can come from up there, and you can constantly wherever you sit be flanked on, which I find really annoying. I know. It's a bit newbie and campy sitting down there and watching that lane. But that I was just using that as an example. This gun is very, very, very OP. Fast firing. Not much recoil. I should cook the cooking egg. Ah, no. Caught my pants down. Really annoying. Yeah, but always leave. And I keep changing the topics. But always leave suggestions of games you want me to play. Like, I've just got FIFA, I can make a FIFA series. Even though I think that'll be a really amusing series for you guys to watch. Because I'm so bad at FIFA. Like, I'm, I'm unbelievably bad at the game. I don't know if that's because I used to be... I used to be quite good at FIFA. In FIFA, FIFA 13... And then I didn't play FIFA 14, and then in FIFA 15, FIFA 15, my pack luck was insane. I got um, Team Season Hazard, Le Legend Hero, I think that's how you say his name, or something like that. Hero, I don't know, something like that. But my pack luck was insane in that game, and I'm off topic. But if you guys do want to leave, please leave suggestions in what games you'd like to see me play. Because I don't want, I want this channel to be mainly uh, Call of Duty because I'm a Call of Duty player and I would like to go pro in it even though I probably won't because I'm terrible. But um, I do, I do want to make it put in variety of videos for you guys to watch. It's not just the same stuff every single day. And I forgot to talk about this, but I've got a new schedule that I've been working on. And I think it will work. Uh, my friend Rival Infinity has started doing it as well. It's basically where on a Sunday I record seven videos and schedule upload them for one every day, basically. So that's seven videos a week. And then I've added this in recently. It's basically... Um, on Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday, I upload another video, so I'll push it up to 10 videos a week, which is a lot of videos. 
I think, in my opinion, even though you get the bigger YouTubers that upload like two videos every day, I don't think I'm able to do that seeing that I'm still in school and stuff like that. But 10 videos a week for now is a lot, in my opinion, because it's daily and one every other day double uploads, which I think be very, very good. And I'll obviously may most probably the double upload day actually no not if i was just thinking that maybe the double upload day might not be as detail or not detail but as uh what's the word I completely forgot the word but well made that's what i'm like trying to say um because i'm it's like the second video but then i just remembered that i'll be doing all the videos on sunday and then having like the whole day to make another video so that'd be too high qual less quality that's the phrase i was thinking of but that'll be two videos not every day but obviously maybe some of the i don't know if i'll be able to get seven videos done on in one day i'll have to get up at like six and then finish at like i don't know eight at n eight or nine at night like non-stop just make one video just finish it make another video finish it and that'll be my sunday but i'll i'll enjoy it i know i will enjoy it because i know i'm making hopefully some people amused with my videos and that's what will keep me going and obviously i might miss some if i'm ill or something like that and i'll keep you updated if you follow my twitter which i'll leave in the link in the description below i'll keep you updated i'm there just follow me and i'll tweet out if i'm not being able to make a video uh, for a certain day because of some things some things that's happened it's trying to catch me out yeah Oh no, I didn't expect him to be there. Wow. How are we losing this? Two of us holding to. Oh, not anymore. <sighs> Team balancing on this game is awful. So you probably can hear me button meshing. I might. I'm also not probably playing as well because I'm using a different controller. Oh. Pardon me, uh, because my main the controller I mainly use, I've had to send back to Scuff because, pardon me, the A paddle has stopped working, so I can't use it, and I'm using my second Scuff at the moment, which has a ripped thumb grip, thumb grip from overuse I think, but now I'm not doing well at all. Like, how did he kill me? This is what I mean about this game. So inconsistent. Look, I put like seven bullets in. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. I only put three bullets into him. This is what infuriates me about this game. This is why I don't like it. Oh, it's annoying. Got my nerves now. 1.6 KD. Not good. <sighs> I hate finishing on a sad note, but anyway, if you did enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in. The, I'll